Welcome to Sagenda's Event Pattern Tutorial. In this video, you will learn how to create events with Sagenda in order to let your users book them. We have other Sagenda tutorials about account creation, integration into your website, and many more. Take a look at them and find more about user booking options. By now, you already have an active Sagenda account and you have clicked on Add Event Pattern. Start by entering a title that will describe your event pattern, such as Monday meeting, BNB booking, etc. This makes sense if you wish to create several event patterns and it helps you distinguish them. Now, let's take a look at the different type of events. Date and time, all day, or schedule. Date and time allows you to define a one-day or multi-day event by indicating the respective dates and time. From is when the first event starts. To is when the first event stops. To indicates the end of the first available date or slot. This is not the end date of the entire set of recurrent events. For example, if you are going to give music lessons every Thursday from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m., first lesson starts on February 25, 2016, and last lesson on March 24, 2016. However, you must first define the event pattern for the first music lesson. From refers to February 25, 2016, 8 a.m. And to refers to February 25, 2016 to 1 p.m., not March 24. Recurrence is managed separately by enabling the checkbox This is a recurrent event pattern. We will see recurrent patterns in detail right after the event type description. So, date and time allows you to create a one off or multi day event spreading from a date time to another date time. If you are organizing a ski weekend which can be booked as a one off event, it can be set up from Friday evening to Sunday afternoon. You will have two different dates in from and to. In conclusion, the from and to will define the minimal bookable slots. Let's now take a look at all day. This is exactly the same as date and time, except your events are managed per day without a time indication. This is often the case for a BNB service or renting that is billed per day only. Let's now take a look at Schedule. Schedule starts with a date and gives the opportunity to create several slots during the same day. This is exactly the same as defining several event patterns, such as date time, where the from and to will be the same, except this is much faster and convenient to configure. Schedule is very useful for predefined hour based slots, such as therapist appointments, music lessons, etc. You can add as much slots as needed. It's now time to learn about the recurring event pattern. This allows you to repeat your event, similar to what you can do in your personal electronic agenda. You can repeat your event daily, weekly, monthly, yearly. Weekly is very practical because you can choose which days of the week you want to repeat. Let's imagine you work only on business days. Just check everything from Monday to Friday. Daily, monthly and yearly are more straightforward without special conditions. Repeat every allows you to skip over some days, weeks, months, years. Imagine you are working only every two weeks. One week work, one week off, or every two days. Repeat every allows you to manage gaps. If you don't skip days, just choose the value 1, corresponding to every day, every week, every month, or every year. Ending a recurrent event has three different options. If you don't know when you will stop your service, indefinite period, just choose no end date. If you know you will have 10 sessions, just enter this number in occurrences and select this choice. If you know that you will stop this at a defined date, select End By and define a date. If you want to make your users pay for your service online when they book, check User Should Pay Online. 
If it's not the case, just skip that point. Enabling online payments allows you to select the amount, a payment note, and the currency.